Hello, and welcome to the Evan Clifton Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson tennis, tennis coach Evan Clifton. Coach, uh, you got back uh, last week. You went down to Hilton Head for spring break, and uh, overall, pretty successful trip. Uh, just talk a little bit, just a summary, of, you know, how things went overall. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, it's, it, was a, it was a great week. You know, it was not just weather-wise to get out there and avoid the 30-degree weather and snow yeah. that, was, uh, that we've been getting here the last few weeks. Um, but, you know, we got to practice every day. We played uh, combined between both teams, eight matches, yeah. went six and two. Uh, the guys went four and zero oh for the week yeah. to keep their record uh, at seven and zero, oh, and the girls went two and two and pulled out two really big wins. So yeah. definitely uh, result wise, great week for us. Chemistry wise, fantastic. Our confidence is high. Um, you know, it's it's prepared us for conference play next weekend. We're yeah. really ready. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, just first, talk about the guys. Like you said, four and zero. Um, yep. You know, really, really on a roll. Still undefeated on the season. Um, you know, just talk about the confidence that they've. You know, where we've had the same lineup now for yep. really a couple of years, and that sure. they've really become experienced. You know, college tennis players, and yep. it's really starting to show. Yeah, and like you said, uh, that experience is really showing, especially for our seniors um, who, from both teams, are, are really coming up huge for us so far this spring. Uh, you know, Doug Vaughn has just been. You know, he's been killing it in singles lineup. He's been perfect at two doubles. Um, yeah, I mean, for, for the guys, this week was was great. You know, it was great to win four matches. You know, obviously you get confidence from winning. Um, but really, we're, we're taking it, you know, the day-by-day -day mantra, yeah. one match at a time. You know, so our record says 7-0, and but really we feel like we've gone seven days 1-0. Yeah. And um, and really how we're winning is what is giving us, what gives me the most confidence. Um, you know, just looking at score lines, you look at seniors like Doug Vaughn and Drew Ryan, those guys. Uh, not like when we win the first set. Not only do we not give up the second set and prolong the match, but we're we're winning the second set, you know, by a, by a wider margin than the first. Yeah. We're getting we're getting stronger as matches go. We're getting more confident as matches go yeah. on. Uh, you know, so that's that's been a, a focus of ours all spring is putting teams away, pouring it on guys once we got the lead, and uh, you know we're we're ready to you know put that into action this this coming weekend against Love Bell. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes that natural tendency is after the win the first say, hey, maybe I'll let off a little bit, knowing yeah. I won 6-2, six, 6-3, six, you know, I can go out and coast. And obviously, you know, you can't do that against anybody because then yeah. going to come back and get you. So. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and certainly the women, we talked about, you know, their trip ending on a high note. Certainly yeah. they were able to rally back against a pretty good Allegheny team. Mm -hmm. So talk a little about that match and how that went. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I mean, the week was great for the girls. We went 2-2. Two and two. All four were very tough matches. Yeah. Uh, we played two teams that were just outside the regional rankings that we knew were going to be tough, and we, we played them hard. Um, you know, we were able to pull out a, a win at the end of the week against uh, against Allegheny, and that was huge. They had just beat our defending regular season conference champs, Messiah, the day prior. Yeah. Um, so we were fired up. We knew they were going to be good. We knew it was going to be a challenge, but we knew just like when we play Messiah and we play our other top teams in the conference, any given day, yeah. any of us can beat each other. So, you know, we came out there sort of, ready to kind of put an exclamation point on the week to end on a high note to get some confidence and the girls really delivered i mean yeah. from doubles we uh nina bretts and jackie nesbeth were down seven two or seven three three doubles came back won four straight games won that match in the tie break uh one doubles was down a break you know most of the way came back broke at the crucial moments pulled that match out to give us the lead in the singles um and then kirsten davidson played just phenomenal with two singles and won her match and in three sets, uh, and then Jackie Nesbeth tied the match up with a straight sets win, and, and Christina Endy, who really has uh, really just got her first opportunity to play this this year, this week, um, and she came through clutch, pulling out that match in three sets to give us a five four win over a team that, like I said, had just beat Messiah the day prior. So we're real happy. Yeah, absolutely. Now your attention shifts. Obviously, you're not in Florida. The weather certainly proves that. Or yeah. Not Florida, but uh, South Carolina. Close enough. Close yeah. enough. It's <laughs> it's all warm. So yeah. But uh, you know, you're back. You know, back here in the Mid Atlantic. It's a little chillier. Uh, yeah. Start conference play this weekend. Mm -hmm. Saturday, you go to Lebanon Valley, um, a team that you know both sides is very strong and yeah. will certainly be a competitive two competitive matches. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Um, you know, it's a team we're going to have to beat if we're going to not just make the conference playoffs, but win the conference. And that's that's our goal on both teams. Yeah. And so it'll be, it's nice to kind of play them first. We get that that measuring stick right away. But ultimately, we know win or lose, you know, it's going to be the second time around that we play them that's going to matter even more. Right. So we're going to keep, you know, whether we win or lose, we're keeping the same mantra one day at a time, one match at a time, and just getting better to, every day. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, you know, from here on out, you know, you've got a few non-conference matches sprinkled in, but the majority of your matches 
you know, down the final month here are going to be conference matches that are obviously very important and you know different than playing non-conference opponents. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we're, um, like I said, Lev Valley Saturday and quick turnaround Rutgers Camden on Sunday. Yeah. Um, you know, and whether it's a MAC team or out of conference or region team, yeah. you know, we're, we're, we're playing ourselves out there. You know, yeah. we're just trying to do better than we did the day before and we feel like if we can keep that focus, that singular focus, that, you know, the results will take care of themselves like they have already. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, thanks for your time. We wish you the best of luck this weekend and, you know, going forward. And uh, we'll chat again soon. Great. Thank you. All right, for Evan Clifton, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Evan Clifton Show.